<laughs> hey everybody so it's Monday night I know you've already seen one video for me today uh, but Charles is out of town and I am bored and I have a lot of energy I've like you don't even know Charles if you're watching you won't you won't believe what I've done today like I ran errands yeah I cleaned I cleaned stuff in my house um, I've done laundry, like, it's, this weather, it's so awesome, y'all, it's so awesome in Houston, and I get the little chilly air, like, tingles, and I gotta, I gotta go do stuff, like, I have all this energy today, I don't even know what it's about, and so, I was like, you know what, let's do a freaking video, let's do a video just because to do a video, because I want to, and I want to talk to y'all. And so what I did is when I was running errands today, I picked up some new mascara, y'all. I picked up some new mascara. And I don't know anything about any of these. Um, I picked up three. <clears throat> I'm only going to do one of them today. But so I've got, y'all, y'all shut out if you know, if you know what. I guess we are more productive when they're not home. I mean, what, the, what an awful thing. What, and usually, I don't. I do even less when Charles isn't here, but it's the weather. Like the weather just got me all. All right, so y'all, tell me which one you want me to try first. So I got um, Urban Decay Troublemaker. I kind of like that one, Troublemaker. It's super fat, super long. Oh yeah, it's trouble, all right. <laughs> sex proof mascara like that's what it says y'all and then it says stir up trouble with 13.7 times the lash volume 13.7 times where do they come up with these numbers i don't even know so that's the first one and it it's a neat box so there, that's the first one that i got so there's that one and then i got um lancome monsieur big it says 12 times more volume. Uh, what else does it say? That's it. That's all it says. So there's that one. And then another one that I got that I've been wanting to try um, is Superhero. I don't think I've tried that one. By It Cosmetics. And that one, Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. 96% uh, said lashes look stretched. I don't know which, longer? You mean longer? I don't understand. Stretch sounds terrible. Longer sounds good. 96% um, saw dramatic volume and length. And then another 96% saw plumper looking lashes. Ooh, it's falling. And then 100% saw a fuller lash line. So, who cares? They said fat and long. <laughs> I know, Crystal. I know. All right. So, that's that's the three. And I'm only going to do one. So, y'all need to let me know. So, we have uh, It Cosmetics Superhero. That's the first one. Um, Monsieur Big by Lancome. And then Troublemaker by Urban Decay. I feel the need to do Troublemaker tonight because Charles isn't home. So he's going to be like, hey, what did you do while I was gone? And I'm like, I got up to some trouble. That's what I think. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. I ask you guys for your opinion and then I tell you what we're doing. All right. So that's going to be the first one that we use. We're going to use Urban Decay Troublemaker. Yeah. And if y'all, this is just funny. It's just funny that Jesus in heaven Come on, man. Uh, Lisa, hello, lovely lady. Sorry, we're having technical difficulties. This crap better stay on. Oh, I just saw Stephanie's face. Hey, Stephanie. Miss Stephanie, my friend. Uh, uh. All right. So, first we're doing, we got, we got a stuff that I'm doing today. I feel like it's still going to fall. I think maybe this phone holder needs some troublemaker a little bit. All right. This is just, it's just funny what's on the box. Like, look, y'all. This is the box. It's just funny. Are y'all laughing? Because it's funny. This is it. I want you guys to see it. I got the trial size. I love getting the trial sizes because I feel way better if I don't like them about throwing them away. If they're tiny. 
It is fancy though, I will tell you, and I'm, I'm a marketing person, I'm all about packaging, and so, I mean, it is, it's glossy and shiny, it's shiny, that's a good sign, I don't know why the .7, these are the questions that I ask myself when people market, .7, the .7, it must be a big deal, I just, this is so fancy, it's just, okay, it's just fancy, let's try it, let's do it, let's do it, y'all. Let's see. Oh, let's itty bitty. This is a itty bitty short wand. I don't know how I feel about that. That's kind of crap. I mean, it's trial, but I mean, come on, y'all. But I will say I do like, oh, I'm digging the brush. Can y'all see? There you go. I really like this brush. Where do you get trial sizes? So you can get them at um, Ulta. They have more of them online. Because the one that I've been wanting to get, just because I like the name, is the Chubby Lash by Clinique. And they have it online, but I thought I would get it at the store, and they don't have it at the store. Thank you, Crystal. Oh, I feel, it feels wet. I feel like I may get some stuff on my eyes. Um, I'm really excited. I haven't done a mascara one in a while, and I have so much fun with these mascara videos and I know y'all love them like I get people that'll just message me they're like hey which mascara is the one that you use I need a good mascara in this price range and I'm like when did I become a mascara expert this is fabulous so this is one coat I gotta say my friends I'm liking the trouble I like what trouble does to my lashes they look really they look really pretty I mean, with just one coat. Mmm, I like it. You know I'm going to do more than one. Because that's what we do. We're not going to do one coat of trouble. I say if you're going trouble, bring it on. Go all the way, y'all. So let's go. Let's go to the second coat. I don't like the fact that this trial size is so short, though. Because I'm sure they're thinking that people have, like, itty-bitty lashes. Well, that's not the case anymore. Now, because of... Rodan and Field Super Lash Serum. People have long ass lashes now. They need to um, do their products accordingly. Seems really blurry. Why are you so blurry? Phone? Alright. I'm just happy I was productive today. <laughs> You guys just don't know how excited I get when I do stuff. <laughs> Sounds so bad. Uh, uh, uh. I, I don't ever get tired of putting on mascara. This is like my most favorite thing. I like how they look pretty, not clubby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I think, Crystal. That's exactly what I think. I'm really digging this. Um, this mascara. I really like it. And yeah, we're going to go three coats because three's my magic number when it comes to mascara. I mean, here, here we go, guys. I mean, look at how beautiful, look at how beautiful my lashes are. Actually, let's look at how beautiful my skin is. Look, I mean, so I just want to, this is all, this isn't really like skincare, but because we're talking about, we got my face and we got my lashes, I'm going to throw in some RF, right guys? So I just want to tell you, like I have almost no parentheses anymore in just what a week and a half of using the new serum, like no parentheses anymore and foreheads looking fantastic, eyes looking, I mean, guys. My shit has come together like nobody's business. And it was good before. I, I am already excited about washing my face tonight. Like, I get excited about washing my face all the time now. I did before, right? Because, hello, it's awesome skincare. But, <laughs> now, y'all. I mean, I don't play around with this business. This is the real deal. Like, guys, you guys have been watching my face for over a year. All you gotta do is look back on some old sink side episodes, look at some old photos, pull pull my crap up, guys. Put it to the acid test. You don't have to you don't have to listen to me. You just look at the pictures that I've posted, look at the videos. Alright, third coat. 
Okay, so I'm wondering if there's, it looks like there's fibers maybe in here. Actually, I gotta tell you, I'm not a big fan of fibers at all. But that's what it looks like. It didn't say it had fibers. But it looks like, because you know, it's got the little hairs that kind of come off the brush. That's what I'm getting. So I'm thinking, see, this is where it's killing me is right here in the corner. Because my lashes are so damn long and this trial side's brush is stubby wubby. Yeah, y'all, um, I'm going to be getting a, <laughs> a full size of this. This is like an everything mascara, really. Crap, guys. I'm giddy. I've used that word like a lot today, but it's just a good word. And it just describes me so accurately today. Holy cow, y'all. It's so hard to get these little lashes. Let's look. Let's gush over my lashes. We'll take a few minutes. So here, I mean, and make sure you're checking out my skin, guys, too. Look, soak it all in. Yeah. My lashes look incredible. Ta-da! I can never tell until after I watch the video. I know, Ryan! For real, dude! Seriously! I, dude, I've been saying giddy all day. Giddy is in giddy up. That's how I feel. Giddy up, y'all. Yes, Crystal, I'm telling you. So, let's go, let's, let's review. Urban Decay. Troublemaker. Uh, so, Kara? So, yeah, so the point, I think it's the point seven that does this. I don't think it's the 13 times. I think it's the point seven. I think the point seven is the magic for some reason. And, um, the, the fancy, the fancy case. That's the other thing I think, but don't worry. You'll have a chance to look at it more because now we're going to leave the bathroom and we're going to go to the second part of, of our, of our double feature today. So yeah, so I talked about it with Sink Side with Sam. Come on puppies, I got the puppies with me. Let's just look at my lashes in all kinds of light. Like it looks really good right there. It's shadowed and looks amazing. Look at that. Oh, I'm just gonna look at my lashes. Oh, they're barking, that's Sam. Sam, it's just me. Okay, so now we're gonna go, I already have them all set up. And we're going to um, talk about shoes because uh get on there brother so because um shoes are very important and like y'all know this like shoes are really important and not just are they important for me and especially for anybody i gotta say the older we get comfort is very important and i want to talk about the shoes that i wore in vegas at convention so where's your selfie light oh Let's put it on. Let's see what it does. It's charging, as a matter of fact, right here. Thank you, Rodan and Fields, for my selfie light. Uh, let's, I'm trying to, is it gonna, ooh. All right. Let's see what happens. Where do I, crappity crap. Okay, let's, hold on. You may like, you may have to look at my stomach for a second. Or just, there. Okay. Whoa. Okay. We've got three, one, three settings. Two. Oh, that's even brighter. Three. I don't like three. Oh, off. One. I like two. Okay. So now I'm using my selfie light. Yay. This is the first time I used it. Yes, Ryan. I, Ryan, you're a great addition to my videos. Everyone, say giddy all day. It's kind of late in the day. Bring it into tomorrow. 
bring it into tomorrow. Um, okay, so I want to talk about these shoes. So last year at convention, like, it was rough, man. It was rough. I brought a crap ton of shoes because you know how we are. It's what we do. But I ended up only wearing one pair of shoes the whole time. And I brought flats. Like, dude, my days of heels are done because um, partly because of after my knee surgery. But apparently when I'm on my feet all day, I swell worse than a pregnant chick. At the end of her pregnancy, my legs, like it's, I need to go to the doctor, but it's, it's awful. And so, and plus it's just, it's not worth it anymore. <laughs> I could give a crap about having sexy looking shoes on because I just don't care. Um, but so the ones that I ended up wearing actually, and all I brought was flats, but the only shoes that I ended up wearing that I had a great time with were my fit flops. For y'all that haven't heard about fit flops, you can go to the fit flop website, you can go to Nordstrom, I think even DSW uh, carries them, but they're awesome. They're like the only shoe that's approved by the American, I'm thinking of how to say the word, pa podiatry i'm saying podiatry association um yes narda i never did the peppermint because i it actually the swelling wasn't half bad it wasn't as bad this time because i was able to put my feet up more um but and so those were the shoes i ended up wearing the whole time and they were great which really shocked me like i knew they were great shoes but i had no idea that i was going to wear them the whole time like the whole time that's all i wore and so this year like that was like the number one thing when I went to Vegas because we're standing all day. We're walking all day and like 10,000 plus steps. So it was all about the comfort, right? And looking halfway cute because y'all, I mean, there are some trendsetters at convention and I was not going to be um, the frumpy girl at convention. Like that I did, I did, that was not going to be me. And so, um, the first pair of shoes I actually that I'm going to show you, I actually didn't wear at convention um, because they're also the least attractive, but I wore them today because I knew I was going to do this video or I was pretty sure I was and I wanted to be able to have actual testimony. So I'm a huge fan of Skechers. So this is You by Skechers Walk. Now, I will tell you, it's not the most attractive shoe. It's almost kind of grandma-y. Like, I, I get that, guys. But it's all black. It's kind of sleek. And it was one that I was like, you know, it looks a little bit dressier than just a regular tennis shoe. I can tell you, Ryan, we like encouragement, especially wrong encouragement. But you do what you got to do, brother. You do what you got to do. Um... I was the beautiful unicorn gifter. Oh, I love you, Kara. So I wore this shoe today, and I will tell you that this, and don't laugh, look at how big. I have the biggest feet, y'all. Like, for real. Look at how big. It's bigger, and I have a big head. I have really big feet. So I felt like I had nothing on today with this shoe, and I was running errands, so I was walking. And it was awesome, y'all. Th this is a great, great shoe highly recommend and that's the you by sketchers walk really liked it um so that's that shoe and i wore it with no socks oh i meant to tell you so the, these socks i'll have to post it in the comments i got these awesome socks off amazon like the no-show socks and i so i wear size 11 i got big ass feet y'all and all of those no-show socks never work for me never they always roll down and flip up underneath my foot and it's a pain it's a pain in the butt these are the best no-show socks I have ever had in my life. They never rolled up on me once. And that's from walking all damn day in Vegas. Like, to me, there's no better test than the Vegas convention walking. Um, I'll post a comment in here with what those socks were, and they were really cheap, too. I was, I was really, really pleasantly surprised. So, the next shoe, also a sketcher. And I just think it's precious. Um, very, very comfortable. This was the one that I wore the most. Look at how cute. Look at how cute that shoe is, y'all. It is freaking precious. It's all cute and kind of like hipstery or whatever. Um, yeah, right. If I was a dude, my feet are so big, I would be, I'd be well endowed if I was a dude. I'm just saying. Just saying. So this is the Skechers Goga Max shoe the fifth generation 
as a matter of fact. It actually has the badging. But dude, this is the cutest freaking shoe, and it is so comfortable. Like, no, nope. and that was the other thing. Like, I'm looking no blisters, right? Because last year, all kinds of Band-Aids had to be had. And those Band-Aids in Vegas are expensive. They're a buck a Band-Aid. That shit's for the birds, right? If you don't bring your own, you're screwed. Love these. Absolutely love these shoes. Very, very comfortable. They move with your foot. Sorry. <laughs> Stephanie's calling me on Messenger. My Australian friend, Stephanie. Stephanie, I'm live. I can't talk to you on Messenger right now. You sweet girl. I love you. So anyways, great shoe. Really highly recommend. And what I like about Skechers is they're not like super expensive. And I have a lot of Skechers. A lot of Skechers. I love them. Like I'm kind of, I'm not so much a shoe whore really as far as like, like brands. I, you get what you pay for for sure. I definitely have some nice expensive shoes. But Skechers can't go wrong. Love them. Love these Skechers. Okay, so now, top shoe, y'all. Top freaking shoe. Get ready. Write it down. This was the best. So I got another pair of Fit Flops. And because, just because, I knew my swelling issues and stuff like that, I was obviously, as you can see, I stuck with closed-toed shoes. How freaking cute is this little loafer? And it has tassels. I love tassels. I love them. I love tassels. If it has tassels, nine times out of ten, I'm going to buy it just because it's a tassel, and I love it. But these are really nice. Now, this is a much more expensive shoe. Worth every damn penny, y'all. Worth every penny. And so, it's leather. Leather. It's a cute little leather loafer. Pretty slim. Pretty sleek. I will tell you that, and I forget what this one was called. It's like um, the, the Super Skate or something. I don't know. I don't I'm sorry. It looks like this. There. This is the leather one. Just remember what it looks like. Um, this is the best freaking shoe in the world. In the world. So every step I took all day long was like full of energy. It was like every step, it just re-energized me to walk. I could have walked for weeks, y'all. Could have walked for weeks in these shoes. No blisters. They're leather shoes, but they're really, and I hadn't, I've not, the only shoes that I had worn before Vegas were these. And I think I wore them like twice. Um, I had not worn these before Vegas. So I broke them in at Vegas. And y'all, look, I mean, had this here. Had the, I mean, leather all the way around. No blisters, guys. No blisters. It was amazing. Extremely, like, look how light. Super light. Like, light like a tennis shoe. And it has tassels. Tassels. So, in my opinion, with big ass feet, being on my feet all day, I am highly critical of shoes. These... Fit Flops, absolute best shoe money can buy. If you need comfort and style for being on your feet. Now, Fit Flop has a wide variety of shoes. All freaking cute. All of them precious. I have, like, so I have these. These are my only closed-toed Fit Flops. And then I have one pair of Fit Flop boots. And then I have, I think it just one, maybe two, but I think one. And then like, I don't know, like six or so pairs of Fit Flop sandals. And they're cute as can be. Seriously cute as can be. Everything is precious. Fit Flop. Cannot, are they true to size? Um, yes, Kim, they are. And so like I'm an 11. Every so often I can go to a 10, like very rarely. Like I'm pretty much, I actually got these and they said that these were big on the website so I actually bought a 10 and I had to return them. Thank you Nordstrom for excellent customer service and getting these to me in time for Vegas. Um, so and plus the other thing I mean I don't know about y'all I, I obviously I've already said it I swell a little bit when I walk especially on my feet all day. Um, so even though this one said it was big if you have little baby feet 
Like, yeah, you, you would probably pay attention to the reviews on the websites. Um, but I had to, I had to go back and get the big size. My feet are just too big. They're just too big, big, huge Fred Flintstone feet. It is what it is. Um, so there you go. So that's our double showcase for this Monday. I had a hiccup. I had so much fun, guys. I had so much fun doing my mascara with you. Troublemaker, Urban Decay. Go back and watch the beginning of the video because... <laughs> I'm sorry, I just get excited. Let's look. Mm hmm Beautiful. Beautiful lashes. Oh, sorry, that was too low. There we go. Beautiful lashes. That's Urban Decay, Troublemaker. And we went through shoes, Skechers, Fit Flops. Good. Word of the day. You know what? Word of the freaking week. Let's do it for the week, y'all. Giddy. Giddy. It's the word of the week. Awesome. All right, friends. I will see you guys on Wednesday for Sink Side. Uh, and I hope you had a great Monday. I hope you have a great freaking week, y'all. I mean, you see me twice today. Hello. Does it get any better than that? Conquer the week. I'll see you Wednesday. Love you guys. Bye.